All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Finally here on the new season, no TTS, it's finally launched. You guys can officially play the new season as well as Grim today. So that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Hopefully my battle pass loads here. There's a glitch with the battle pass. You're not actually given any of the tiers. So I bought the year pass, which gives me the first 21 tiers free. And I don't have any of the packs or anything. So hopefully after our first game here, we get our Bravo packs and we can do a little alpha pack opening. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe for more content like this. If you guys enjoy the video, make sure to like it. Comment down below any suggestions you have and let's get straight into our first game. All right, now first things first, what we gotta do is make some G fuel. So I got my shaker cup. It's a little bit dark, I know. It's gonna be kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make some G fuel. I got some water. You don't have to use a water bottle, but that's what I'm using just because I had it. Pour some water in here. There you go. It's about a whole water bottle. All right, grab your G Fuel of choice. Personally, I'm going to be using Tropical Rain. That's what I'm using today. Here we go. Untwist the cap, the little scoop that's in here. Pick that up. All right, there's already some G Fuel inside of it. Pour that in here, easy enough. Close it all up, grab your lid. Check out how easy this is, guys. Close the lid up real quick, all right? Boom, we're done. Shake it up. And you got yourself some G Fuel, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we've got our new map ban system here. Hopefully we ban bank. I actually would, I would hate to play bank right now. Clubhouse sounds great. I'd even play Stadium Bravo. That would that would sound a lot better than bank or favela here. Please don't be bank. Oh, thank God, we're on City of Bravo. This is actually my first time playing this. I never even got the chance to play it on the TTS. Every single time it came up, it was instantly banned. So hopefully this is a fun game here. All right, here we go. Armory lockers, penthouse, showers, service. Okay, so if you guys aren't aware, this map is actually a combination of both border and coastline. I believe it was an event map that came out in 2021 and the entire other team is leaving. So hopefully, hopefully not everyone's gonna leave to try to dodge the game. I have no idea what's going on now. Everyone's crashing. This would happen the first time we get Stadium Bravo. Everybody just ends up leaving, I swear. All right, so we've loaded in and four of my teammates, or I guess me and three of my teammates are here and only two of the other team remain. So I'm not sure what's going on. It says they disconnected. So maybe they'll come back. I'm not sure if they got kicked, like if they lagged out or if maybe they had just left themselves. I'm not actually entirely sure, but I was really hoping to play this map. It's actually not that bad. I enjoy playing border and I enjoy playing coastline to an extent. So having both of them combined, it's really not that bad, but you can kind of see like, this is like border obviously is army archives. And then this is fountain office. And when you come over here, it's like coastline. So you've got VIP and etc. So I think it's actually pretty cool. It's the first time we've seen like two different maps combined. And honestly, it's probably a good thing because we all know how Ubisoft are with making new maps. They might as well just take the maps that they already made and combine them together because that's our best hope at any sort of good map. All right, so it looks like a lot of the other team is returning. So hopefully everyone's going to be able to join back in. We're going to have a normal game here. I'm praying. Oh boy. There we go. So I remember these glass windows. I made for such a fun time. All right, so it looks like most of the other team is back now. Some people are leaving on my team, but I'd rather my team have less players than their team, to be honest. Hey, yeah, you guys have to let me know down in the comments if this is something that you've been experiencing a lot on the new build. This is actually like my first time playing the new season. I didn't play yesterday on, on release, and this is literally my first experience with the live build. I did play some of the TTS, as you guys know, but I actually haven't played the new season. I literally installed the update like an hour ago. So this is my first time really playing. I'm not sure if this is like a common bug or not. You guys have to let me down, down in the comments, but I hope this isn't something that's like gonna continue to happen. But it, the fact that it's happening on both teams, I fear that it's like on Ubisoft's end and not people just rage quitting, you know what I mean? Right, at least this round we have an even in 4v4 instead of a 2v4 that is nice oh here we go it's this all right i know where he is he's gonna run up that staircase which leads to the armory balcony here so we might be able to kill him oh he's he has the same idea he is right outside of here though oh my goodness i'm narrowly escaping death well, let's use my drone here let's see if we can see him oh my god i'm the last one This is not good, guys. I gotta bait and get some kills. Oh, 
Oh boy. We're hiding. I don't know where to look. I don't know this map good enough. <laughs> I guess it's just coastline. What do I mean I don't know the map good enough? I think this is penthouse. I don't know, it's just weird. Oh, I got destroyed. And I felt like it was a 4v4. Everything was going good there. And then all of a sudden I heard uh, la last friendly remaining or something like that. Like what? How did it even happen? My whole team just died. Maybe I was like too focused on trying to wallbang the Twitch and not focus on my whole team getting massacred. I have no idea. All right, so we're downstairs now. This is definitely ventilation workshop on border. I know that much. Once I see the room, I think I'll be able to like understand where everything is. But even so, like this is ventilation workshop on border, right? But as if you guys are like were to compare this side by side, a lot of the same like cover is not in the same spots. Like they kind of like strip the whole room it's not it's not the same it's not one for one so when you're trying to like pre-aim cover that's there on like border or coastline it may not be there on this map so it's kind of trippy like for example on vip on coastline there's not just like a concrete wall here it's like an actual shelving unit they can peek through so it's it's really different and then like here there's a wall not a window there's like minor differences that actually make things like play out completely different our coastline the hatch isn't here it's here so little things like that i think it's cool though i, th I think it works all right that was kind of silly of you iana nope what what knock what is knock Knox in the site. Where are my teammates at? <laughs> oh my god. I tried going back to site thinking it was safe and I'm dead. Oh my god. We have the entire bathroom wall opens. This is just this is just weird. All right. It's all up to Lucian now. Can he do it? He's got one. He needs one more. You see him. He's lighting him up. Come on, Lucian. He's two impacts. Oh my god. How did he not die right there? Those bullets were whizzing right past his head. Planning. Planning. Don't let him plant. I love the call out from Four Snow and chat. Looking at a flashbang, bro. Oh no. Some. Unfortunate. Can't win them all, guys. We're going to attack now. Attack is cool though. They've got some really cool spawn points. All right, we'll pick up Grim, and we're gonna spawn up top as I believe this is the coolest spawn in the map. All right, here we go. The coolest spawn in the entire game. Although this also used to be the most broken spawn in the entire game because you were. As a defender, you were able to like jump out of one of these windows. I think it was over here. And you could literally kill all five attackers before they even had a chance to shoot back. It was a little bit ridiculous. They've since fixed that. Wait, I thought I saw a guy. Yo, know, these windows make for such an awkward like engagement sometimes. I think this is hookah. Yeah, that's hookah in there. All right, we sucked him out. He thinks I'm going over there. Oh my God, the window's open right here. Wait, is this archives? I don't know what I'm picking. This is archives. Oh, they had me on the drone. All right, I don't. I want out of here. I want to be on it. I want out of here. Give me back to the roof. I'm repelling back in. LMG. LMG. No! I played that so wrong. I hit spacebar to try to go back to the roof, and it repelled me in. Oh, uh, let's go. Two v one. Yana's 1 HP though. This could be bad. Maestro's got that LMG. It's just, it's so strong, bro. People sleep on Maestro nowadays. Like his gadget's not that useful anymore, but his gun is still as strong as it's ever been, man. I remember back in the day in like Pro League and stuff, people would complain about Maestro so much. Bro, when he first came out, people were complaining so much about his gun. And I, I don't believe really anything changed. It's just that his gadget's not good anymore. Like nobody really complains about him. Oh, oh, Ash. Ash did so much damage to Ace. They're both one shot now. Hey, let's go. Pawn's got it. 2-2. Two, two. We're playing a barn burner right now, man. Wow. To be honest, I'm not feeling grim. Kind of underwhelming. I, I kind of want to play someone else. Like, I want to play Sledge with the angle grip. Because this is brand new. They they added an angle grip to the LED5. So I kind of want to try that out. I don't know. I, I just feel kind of bored of grim. I played him some in the TTS... I had some like cool strats with them. I showed off like how his gadget can be like pretty useful and creative. But to be honest, like I feel like outside of like niche cases like that, he's really not all that good. I feel like he's okay, but I don't know that he's really that good. Like I'd much rather, at least for like me just trying to like play the game and like hit clips or whatever, I'd probably rather play someone else. 
Now, like in a team environment in like pro league or something, I don't know. Maybe the pros will come up with something to make him like a little bit more viable. But for me, me personally, just trying to vibe and play the game. I think someone like a sledge or an Osa is just more fun for me personally. Also, the other team just team killed. Man, this is such a scuffed game, bro. The first round, there's only two people to kill. So there were no frags that we had then. Second round, I think a lot of people DC'd. And now people are team killing. It's madness, man. All right, there was a grenade spot right here. I don't know if it's still a thing. Right here. Let me check with my drone. You were able to throw a grenade in, and it was like a guaranteed kill every time. It was crazy. <gasps> Looks like it might happen. Oh, no. I'm throwing another one. I don't care. I'm throwing another one. I have confidence in this. Oh, no. Me and Iana were just tossing in nades there. Yep, that's scary. Alright, this is not as pushable as the armory wall is on uh, border itself, I'm gonna be honest. This is, like, scary. Although, what we can do is get a nice angle right here. Oh, nice shot. Wow, the angle grip really does kick. Going in. I think he's playing the small window. Oh my god, he was so far back. Did you guys see how far back that guy was? The recoil was getting from me. Planning. Let me plant. No, I wanted the plant points. Man, you couldn't have waited like half a second so I could get the plant points. Alright, so to be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about the, the sledge angle grip. I feel like I didn't notice any difference at all when I was ADSing there, so I'm going to go back to the vertical grip. If you guys didn't know, there was a, a recent nerf to the angle grip, which I think was in... Um, I don't know. What, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? It was um, something, something, something in, pre in preparation for this change. This is what I mean is, like, I think they nerfed angle grips because they plan to add angle grips to, like, basically every gun in the game this season. So they, like... Did a little pre-nerf to them, so they're not as strong when they gave angle grip to everybody this season. If that makes sense. Why they didn't just time them together, I have no idea. But that's my uh, hypothesis here. But yeah, I don't like the angle grip that much. I really feel like it's kind of useless. Yes, the recoil on Sledge's gun is not that much. But really, why are you giving yourself more recoil if you don't need to? Especially when the gun doesn't ADS that quickly with an angle grip. Like I said, they nerfed it, so it really doesn't ADS that fast anymore. Just take a vertical grip, man. That's my stance on it. Especially if you're one of those psychopaths that runs like or an uh, angle grip on Ella or whatever. Like a gun like Ella. Like, man, you guys can't be doing that. That can't be happening. Oh my god. Alright, let, let's, let's nade this, I think. Oh my god, he's still holding it. I'm dead. I heard him last second. Bro, this lay Brazo guy kills me every round, man. This guy is going off right now. Oh, here we go with these windows. He's Z-pinged him. He's going to walk in. Oh, he still lost it. Even with the Z-ping. That's actually crazy, though. You could just look at this guy through the wall. Z-ping his feet. And then have your teammate walk in. It's like a free, free intel without a drone. Oh my god, what was Ella thinking? Look at this, imagine. Iana can literally Z-ping the Warden's feet and just have like Flora's entry frag or something like that. You have exact intel on him. But they're just, they're not choosing to do it. I feel like, I feel like a nade here from Iana would work too. Uh oh, here we go. This window makes for such awkward peaks, man. Oh, his nade worked. Mine didn't, but his did. Pushing up. Unfortunate, bro. Late Brozo, or however you say his name, bro. He's going off. With the suppressor, too, nonetheless. Suppressor and Cybertruck. This guy is literally stunting on us. All right, man. I'm pulling out the crutch. We're going, Osa. Everything's failing me so far. We can't get any frags with Grim. Sledge is letting me down. So, we're going to Osa. All right, here we go. Temp number, who knows. Hopefully, this round we play good. Forget what side of the map is the armory side. He forgetting. I think it's like literally the dead opposite side of the map. It is. That's all right though. Here, my team. They're so loud. 
My team is just baiting me right now. Sneaky, sneaky. There it is. They brozo down. Finally. No, and I get refragged. I, sh I went to shoot the cam and Ella refragged. Man, this is unfortunate. Nice shot. Gotta give it to him. He had a nice shot. It's 3-3. This is a barn burner game. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, this Tay guy is really good. It's always the... Oh, I guess... Oh, it's not the Tay guy. I'm sorry. The... He has nine kills, I guess, so I can't say he's not good, but the, the barcode on Ella, like, downed that guy, my teammate. This dude on Ella is actually crazy. You know, maybe I should try Ella. Maybe they uh, buffed her. All friendlies have been eliminated. Maybe that's why he's uh, so good with Ella. Maybe they buff the weapon, because they, they always do that. They do, like, shadow buffs to weapons. Like, this season, for example, I know that the SMG-11 has, like, no recoil. They, like, did a shadow buff, and it's just so much better. All right, let's try... Let's try Ella. Because apparently it's just significantly better. At least at least from what I'm seeing on the, the barcode on the other team play. Rocking the SSG skin, by the way. Shout out to my friend Tyro. He made this skin. Pretty fire. All right, let's grab our armor and walk away from our teammates so I don't accidentally team kill. Let's test out this recoil here. All right. All right, there's no recoil. Yeah, um, guys, Ella is OP again. Ella has no recoil. Like, at all. Alright, this isn't recoil. That's just me sucking. Yeah, I mean, like, it definitely has some recoil, right? But, like, honestly, compared to what it was last season, this is basically no recoil. I would sit there and try to recoil control more. But I don't, I don't want to waste too much of my ammo. I, I definitely kind of suck with it. I feel like I give this down to, like, actually no recoil if I actually like played this game again but i've been doing nothing but playing apex so like my siege mechanics are awful as you guys have probably noticed i am like so washed it's unbelievable oh no this wall's soft and there's no way to reinforce it because the hatch is opened this wall should always be reinforced put a claymore i'm worried for my safety one's already in 90. oh man the wall is up this is why it should always be reinforced because now we're in a bad spot all right, pushing archives. I think he's already in. Nice. Oh, that's him. I couldn't see him because of the alibi clone. Bro, I thought Sledge was alibi. Like the, I thought it was the alibi clone for a second. I look like a gold right there. It's my reaction time. All right, but it's safe to say the uh, the Scorpion is way better now. Next next map, we're gonna play a lot more of the Scorpion. That was a lot of fun, actually. Uh, nothing's been working for us on attack i'm not sure what we need to do let's try the f2 I feel like the f2 would be fun why not you know what i'll even throw a 1.5 on it even though i absolutely suck with the 1.5 i gotta say like you guys are gonna make fun of me for my recoil control in the comments but i'm sorry for some reason the f2 is just not the gun for me man uh, i've got the bomb i'm gonna drop this to be honest i'm gonna go solo push i'd rather a teammate pick it up real quick than uh me die with it in sight okay yana's got it thank you sir we got a blitz all right, we're back towards Hookah. We're just going to push it. I'm going to drone first, though. I think I hear someone. Yeah, I do. He's right here. I'm going to act like I don't see him. Uh, unfortunate. Damn. And it's just too good. Well, that's it for me this game, I guess. Didn't play that bad. All right, Blitz is just going straight into sight right now. Oh, he's going to get a kill, too. ADS, ADS. There we go. Behind. Damn. He almost had it. I mean, he, he was good for one. That's all I can ask for. It's a 2v2. Got a shot at winning this. I hate to lose this far into the map here. Bandit is low. Does not matter. Bandit just had 15 kills. Wow, Tay went off, bro. That That's a full game for Tay right here. 15 and 6. I better be seeing this on YouTube. Finally, I got my alpha back. So there's some sort of bug right now where if you don't wait until the game is fully over. So like if you win a game, you gain battle pass experience, which levels up the battle pass, right? Duh. But if you win a game and you don't wait until the very last second when it kicks you out to the menu, you don't get any of the battle pass experience, which stops you from receiving any of your previous packs. So, or like any of your previous uh, skins and all that. So I unlocked the first 21 tiers with the um 
year pass, but I didn't get anything from it because like I said, that bug, but now finally all my packs are here. So we can do a quick alpha pack opening. I would buy more packs, but I want to save up for 180 K. I'm so close to it. I, it would feel so irresponsible to spend 160 K when I could just wait for like 13 K more and get a, get the 50 pack. So we're just going to wait. We'll open our one alpha pack. You guys always want to open your alpha packs first. Open the alpha packs, then open the Bravo packs. See what we get. We're hoping for L85 Black Ice, man. That's what we want. So far, we're not getting anything good. Really didn't have that many packs, dude. That sucks. All right, here we go. L85 Black Ice. All right. I mean, <sighs> that's not bad. Maverick Black Ice. I mean, that, that's pretty good. I, I don't ever play Maverick. I don't know why I have a red dot on him either. But... I'll take it. I can't complain about a black guy, especially on like a, a gun that's an actual AR, not like a pistol. All right, last one, please. For the love of God game. I have been playing for like 10 or 12,000 hours. I'm like level 700 between all my accounts. I've been, I've been playing since day one of this game. Give me the L85 black guys. All right, man. All right. They just, they just don't want to see me have it, man. I don't know what to say. Literally been playing this game for seven years and I don't have the LED5 black guys. I've never gotten it on any of my accounts, not on Xbox, not on any of my PC accounts, not on the TTS. It, it's honestly criminal, man. Just a little reminder, still drinking this G Fuel here. Use code SHOCK, get 30% off the link in the description. It's good stuff, man. Will not regret your decision whatsoever. Also, if you're liking the video, consider subscribing. Like the video if you're liking the video as well. Oh no, we might get bank again. Oh, thank God, we got Oregon. Cannot complain with Oregon. I, I know a lot of people complain that they only play Oregon, but listen, man. If the choice is Bank, Favela, Canal, something like that, Emerald Plains, or Oregon, I'm taking Oregon every single time. That's just me, bro. I'm sorry. I don't care about the, like, map variety. Give me a map that's competitively viable over, like, some trash like Emerald Plains. I'm sorry, bro. All right. I think we rock some either Sledge or Oso. I'm not sure. Help me, guys. Help me pick. Help me pick. Well, actually, you know what? Yana. We're playing Yana. Or should I play Maverick? Strictly for the, the M4 Black Eyes. You know we're doing it. We're playing Maverick. All, all just to respect the Black Eyes that we got, right? Here's the thing, though. You guys might you guys might be like... uh, You have to go, like, open attic wall or some, something like that. Absolutely not, man. I'm going to be walking around, gun out... Not using my hard gad my harbage gadget a single time. That's just how it's gonna be. I apologize. Listen, I know I'm that guy this game. I'm not I'm that guy who went hard breach and isn't using the hard breach gadget, but listen, I'm only playing him out of respect for the black guys that we got. I'll play him for the one round and we'll switch to Yana. You've located a bomb. You can see that window break? I wonder if he's gonna peek it. I just heard a good shotgun as well. Got Kate shooting through it. Is he trying to throw the Kate outside? Is that what he's doing? Hold up. What? 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 All right, that's K dead. What is that? What are you doing, bro? I'm gonna hit the rappel too. All right, that's all I care to do. I'm going up. Actually, you know what? Oh. It's not for me. I'm pushing it too much. I'm pushing it too much. I'm I'm headed over to attic or uh, kids window. Oh, the glass is broken. I'm dead. Oh no. Wow, he's actually picking attic window? Uh, that's my bad. I saw my teammates in attic or like in big tower. I thought we already had attic wall open. I should not have assumed that. I thought there might already opened it, so I didn't think anyone would peek the attic window like that. That's on me. Oh, Pyro's going in there. Wow, not the cav. I'm seeing a lot of people use suppressors now. Are you guys using suppressors? Let me down in the comments. I, I see Thermite using one here. And I think we had a few people using them last game too. I don't know, I haven't really messed with it too much. It just it gives me like bad vibes using a suppressor. Like I'm I'm too like stuck in the past on how they do like less damage. So I just like whenever I hear a suppressor on my gun, I, I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. Oh line had one too. Wow. Does everybody have a suppressor on my team? Am I the only one? I think Gridlock doesn't. Okay, literally, it's just smoke on sight. The Chanka is stuck in armory. The play here? Never mind. Never mind. What do I know? What do I know, guys? 
Please with the wall bang here. I was gonna say the play would just be like 2v1 the smoke on site, but the wall bang was just too good. Oh, that was actually a wild shot from the smoke. That was a tight shot to hit. The frost mat. Oh no. I thought he got insta killed by the smoke somehow. Yikes, bro. Yikes. We almost had a team ace there. McLovin letting us down, man. Come on now. All right, we had our one Maverick kill. I think we go back to playing like a Yana or something like that. We won't troll too much. And these early season games are so much harder too. Because everybody's trying to get their elo, man. Ever, everyone's just trying to like play well for the early season stats. Because all your stats reset. So if they're not playing for the elo, they're playing for the stats, man. Because everyone's trying their asses off. <laughs> Like normally when I play, it's not this hard, to be honest. Like, I can get on after not playing for like two days or something, and I can play pretty well. I'm not playing bad today. But I can just tell like people want it more. I hear a suppressed uh, lion. That gun actually sounds so cool, suppressed. Alright, here we go. Teammate just got killed over here. I'm gonna stop holding it and die to it. Watch this. It's gonna be crazy. Wow. The banshee right here. Trying to knock. Yeah, it saw me. I just crouched down. Oh, damn. Nice shot. He's Chonka with the SMG. That's on something you see every day. He actually had a nice shot, I feel like. Wow. He's already, like, aiming in that corner. That's kind of odd. Oh, my God. My teammate had the double swing on him right there. That guy stood no chance. Oh, let's go. I think I hear him above, do I not? He's about to fly down main stairs or tower stairs. Now, what does this rotate in the laundry closet, by the way? Can we talk about that next to Flores? He just walked down tower stairs. I was right. Then pillar. He's swinging pillar on your left there, mate. Oh, no. I think he just went down the hallway. Yeah, he's by Flores now. Oh, boy. Thermite's one HP, too. This is bad. And he's just holding this with no cover. I pray for this guy. Yep. <laughs> Oh my god, it wouldn't matter. He had a headshot anyways. You gotta hold that with some cover, bro. Like you, you just gotta wait till he starts hitting the bomb. The diffuser has been disabled. Like people on attack to get too antsy when they're in like a situation like that. All right, one last round of attack. Then we go back on the defense. Or I shouldn't say back on the defense, but on to defense. I'm praying for right now. I, I just, like I said earlier, I just, I cannot play on attack. Wait, also, I just realized I have hollow on, on Iana. I was going to say something. I was going to be like, why do I have hollow? I forgot. They took the 1.5 away from Iana. That's actually awful, bro. They do the same thing to Nomad? No, she's a 1.5 and a 2X. Well, looks like we're switching to Nomad, boys. I'm dead ass going to play Nomad, though. You guys think I'm joking. If you guys haven't been watching my channel for a long time, you won't know. But I used to play like a ton of Nomad. I used to actually only play Nomad. Played the AK more than the ARX though. We'll, we'll stick the ARX. I haven't played the 2X on this gun in forever. Oh my god, I have the Han Solo pistol on this. I totally forgot. I think I have to run the Han Solo pistol just for the memes. Gotta do it. It's gonna get me killed. I'm going to be in a situation, I run into ammo because the ARX has 20 bullets in a mag. I need the pistol. We're close range, and I've got like a 2x on my pistol. It's going to get me killed. It's all good, though. All right, I'm kind of pushing the opposite side of where my team is. Probably rotate. Hold on, though. No, the timing. I almost had that Malusi. That was so close. I think my teammate just got frost mounted.
Oh, the hatch is open into sight. Perfect. We do love this angle. Come on, somebody go to stage, man. Reload. I hear like a rook in here. Let's go to drone. Turn that below, really? Oh, is nobody here? Or should I just hop in? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, give me a minute here. I'm in sight. I'm terrified. What do I do next? No, oh, the timing! This guy made no noise. Bro, that was a good play though, you can't lie. I literally went from the roof to in sight in like two seconds. Can you believe that? All the way from the roof to first floor in two seconds. They just were not watching that at all. Also, I've been in sight that whole time and my teammates are just like trying to clear a meeting while I'm in it. We're going to die to a frost mat here too, guaranteed. Blackbird hops in and is dead to a frost mat. And Melissa's on the attic hatch now, so there's just no push in meeting. Even if Zof kills that frost, he's not killing Melissa. Oh, Daryl's handling it. Someone's dying to a frost mat, that's all I know. One of my teammates is, is done for. Oh, they've got the Chonka. All right, please just try to walk in without ADS. There we go, Pyro. Use the cluster charge when we see it. Nah. They're both one HP. Pyro's trying to plant and Gerald's nowhere to be seen. I'm worried. You got it down. Actually a good spot. Hey, let's go. Good thing, I was getting worried there. We were down 1-2. to two, Or 0-2. Oh to two. Alright, finally defense. I'm gonna go... I, I think Ella. I said I wanted to play more Ella. Yo, Kate is looking fresh. Oh my goodness. That elite skin is going crazy right now. I don't know how I want to play this, to be honest. I don't want to play in trophy. Like a shield here. But I feel like I'm gonna get naded. But I don't want to do that. I might do, to be honest a little bit risky and it could end in me dying instantly and not actually getting to use Ella but we're gonna try if I can make it there in time I think I have enough time you must protect your bombs from being we're gonna do a pistol spawn peak there we go perfect oh uh, no all right I hit Zofia get me out of here get me out of here I'm going to rotate up through freezer stairs. All right, we did some damage. That's all we can ask for. I think I shot Sophia twice. All right, back to site we go. Hello, mine on white. Should be good. Build my shield. Get that down. Loading new magazine. Oh, he's repelling. I don't know if I'm cut out for the Ember Repels. One nade and me and Jaeger are gone. No, I'm not cut out for the Ember Repels. What? Sophia's just in classroom? I, I heard him impact it, but I thought it was from outside uh, classroom window, like 99% of normal people do. All right. That's a rough few games for me. I gotta be more passive, I guess. I keep dying too early. That's the problem. See, I, I gotta do what Pyro just did there. Hold an angle on absolutely nothing and just wait for something to happen. At least I just tried to nade get ripped, buddy. It wasn't for him. 35 seconds. There's just been a complete standstill. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I gotta do. I, I gotta be more passive. Now all three of these attackers have to like funnel into sight. If I just like chilled, I could have I could have been set up in a nice spot. Oh no, we're all getting picked apart. Pyro, we got a flank, dude. He has a C4 for the plant. Yes, no, yes, no. He got off. Wow, two C4s, no kills. Oh, this is bad. Gerald. Gerald for the win. He actually just planted by big window, I think. Wow. 
Oh, empty. Man, we are getting smoked up here. No help for me, though. So, can't really say anything. I gotta step it up this round. I, I feel like I just gotta sit on site. It'll be a little bit boring for, like, the first minute and a half. Maybe two minutes. Because, like, these guys on attack are playing really slow. But if I just, like, play on site and not get needed, I think we'll be good. My god, you guys see this drone? All the way back in sight. Run spawn. It's underneath the car. This wall is just soft. Attic is just soft. Kind of my bad. I had like no setup and I wasn't really reinforcing. Sounds like they all spawn master. So I'm just gonna have to patiently sit and wait for them to push. Hope to not get needed as they are bringing lots of needs. And we just have no rotates either, so. There's going to be no running away from him. If we have no holes or nothing, and I got nothing to make him. Bring me back to the days when Ella had a uh, 50 round mag and impact grenades. And I'd be setting this set up real nice. Oh my god. If I died right there, it would have been game over, bro. I actually would have been done for the day. If I just like randomly got shot through right there, nope. I would have had it, bro. I would have been, uh, would have been done. I'm gonna pull a ninja and just quit everything. Oh my god, Jaeger. Wow, he won that gunfight. That's crazy. I wanted to, I wanted to peek that guy so bad, but I didn't want to risk it. Alright, Gerald. Alright, this is bad, bro. Got no holes, man. You can just walk in. Uh, smoke grenades. Run an element in here. we go See, like i said just have to play more safe man <laughs> i'm just being too aggressive at the start it's important to be able to like analyze your gameplay like that though and recognize what you're doing wrong and try to change it like some people just get mad but like if you're playing bad there's probably a reason for it realistically so you kind of have to like analyze what you're doing like the reason i was playing bad this game at the start i was just like over peaking everything especially on defense i was over peaking trying to peak things that i shouldn't have been putting myself in positions i shouldn't have been okay, on th that round i just like played safe on site and i got two picks for it also ella feels great man if you guys haven't tried ella in the new season try her out i'm using a uh, vertical grip and muzzle break feels great i don't know maybe i should try uh angled or compensator honestly compensator might be crazy I i'm just using muzzle break because that was the play like two seasons ago but I really haven't played Ellen so long, so that could have changed. So I would say, like, experiment with it, but so far, like, for my limited testing, muzzle break seems to be pretty good. Next round, I'll, I'll try to play... I'll try to play, uh... Compensator. If I'm able to. I think we go to attack next round. Alright, we've got no e-box head holes, no bunker rotate, no smoke. We've got an echo and a cap gun, though, and a thorn. This is an interesting lineup from us, man. This is the, uh, I hope we lose lineup. I mean, to be fair, I'm Ella, so I can't really talk, but the only good operator we have on our team is the Thunderbird. Everyone else on our team is kind of throwing. We have no rotates. Echo's the only one that can make rotate, I think. And it hacks has already gotten a kill on the belief. All right. Not good. We see for to rotate. I'm fighting the, the urge to just go swing this door right now. I want nothing more to swing this door and peek bunker. It's a guaranteed way to die. Ooh, that's scary. Oh my goodness. No head holes in here either. Oh, they're nade. Yep, I was about to, I don't know if I said it or not. I was thinking it, I'm gonna get naded and then I got naded. That is the operator lineup being abysmal for you. Might be GG. 
2v5 here. I don't know. Unless McLovin can hop in here and get an ace. No, nope. McLovin down. Wow, we got stomped, bro. Oh, good, GG's.